Okay, to parge that corner wall that we just cleaned up, I'm gonna mix four bags, uh, four 10 pound bags of uh, mortar. This is type N mortar. The job of the mortar, the reason you parge a wall is that the parging, the mortar, is the sacrificial element in the structure. So if something cracks, breaks, you want the parging to crack. You don't want the parging to uh, withstand whatever's going on and cause the concrete to crack. Okay, now we're going to mix some Portland paint. All that is, is some, some Portland cement. I know what this looks like, but it's Portland. Some bonding agent and some water. That's it. When you're parging your wall, if there are areas where you don't want to parge, just sort of like painting, nothing wrong with using a little painter's tape to clean up your edges.
Okay, here it is, all sponged off and smoothed out. Uh, it's very wet, so we'll need to let it dry, but you just want it, you know, sort of a rough surface. You want it rough so that the next layer of paint can adhere very well. You don't want it very smooth. That's why we, we go over it with the sponge for two reasons. One, the sponge, uh, you know, helps blend in things together. So any bumps and lines and uh, things like that, the sponge helps blend it in. The second thing, it gives this, this nice rough sort of stucco-like surface. And that's going to be really good for the next layer of paint. This will take about two days to dry. And when it's dry, we will come back and we'll paint it. And make it look great. Okay, I'm going to remove the blue tape now. Uh, we just got finished sponging, and we don't want it to dry too much. Otherwise, the paint will be stuck on the wall forever. Okay, removed the painter's tape. And while the edge isn't perfect, it looks pretty good. Uh, and we'll definitely be able to clean this up even more when we paint it. That's it for today. I'm going to let this wall dry. It's leave it for a couple days and check back in with it. Uh, this type of mortar can take up to a week or two to fully dry and we do not want to paint even partially wet mortar because the paint will not stick. Even if it looks like